Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a love short for you. So this is going to be a short reading about love. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's get into this love short. This love short. Love short. Yeah, you get it? It's like a play on love shack. Anyway, I'm moving right along. Uh, let's get into it. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. This love short. It looks like somebody's viewing you as their meal ticket, the golden opportunity. Can I come live with you? Can I come stay with you? You got it all, you know. Let me come in. Let me get in where I fit in. It looks like Taurus is untrusting of this energy or any energy right now. Yeah, the Empress, you just live in the lap of luxury here, Taurus. That could be you, that could be Virgo, that could be Libra also. I mean, you're cre you have created something for yourself. You brought it into fruition, and I think people see it. You could be a mother. If you're not a mother, you want to be a mother, or you're very nurturing. People want to be a part of that. Yeah, the Queen of Cups coming out. They see you as, you know, keep it to yourself, self-centered. You're all about you right now. You're all about you because you feel like people relationships dealing in interpersonal relationships destabilized your energy destabilize you emotionally so it's best for you to develop yourself focus on you create emotional stability learn how to rest and dwell in that and then you can come back to people but right now it's all about you the will of fortune you could be having a significant amount of luck luck come in for you um there could be a soulmate energy you're kind of dealing with some destiny at play here the wheel is always spinning, either in our favor or maybe not in our favor. For it rains on the just and the unjust. So get ready for those times. Um, the wheel of fortune, somebody may be coming back to you saying, I changed or things have changed. Could be a Sagittarius, could be a Piscean person, a death card. Yep, they're saying that they changed. Could be a masculine energy, somebody who has cre created a level of stability for themselves here. Um, they may be saying, look, I've changed, things have changed, we just need to change all together. We can transition from where we were to what we are now. Just hear me out. Um, it seems as if some relationship has ended here. Or Yeah, seven of wands here. You kind of, once again, you got your guards up. You see this person as a destructive influence. Again, with that queen of cups coming out, you feel like you have to protect your heart, your mind, your sanity, your emotional stability with this person or against this person here. You could be dealing with a Leo. If you're not, you're just dealing with somebody that comes in and they need a lot of attention and they want their attention set on, your attention set on them. A destructive influence here. Mars and Leo, um, the two of pentacles, you're weighing up this decision. You know it needs to, a decision needs to be made one way or the other, okay? You're kind of rolling with the punches and going with this here, but you know eventually you're going to have to make a decision. What is a decision? It was when you go in and then you make an incision, meaning you cut away. So you're going to cut away person, place, or thing, not exactly sure, but you're going to have to make that decision eventually. The Eight of Pentacles looks like you're focused on work yourself, working on yourself, working for yourself, working on starting a business, a growth of that business, putting all energy, effort, time into business-related matters. It seems as if you've given a situation with a particular person chance after chance over and over again, says the Eight of Pentacles, and you've gotten nowhere. It seems with the Eight of Pentacles, this being the eighth month, you need to start something new. You need to focus on the new. You need to focus on yourself. It says that some of you are so focused on work that you can't even focus on love right now anyhow. Someone could be thinking about you over and over, trying to penetrate your energy field. Let's get some advice for the Taurus. Leave them with advice here. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is saying, look, evaluate. We're in the eighth month. Before the eighth month, we had seven months. We had one to seven. Evaluate how far you have gotten in a relationship, a business, um, interpersonal connections, uh, marriages. Is it going well? Is it is it a return on your investment? Are you just frustrated with it, but you're willing to see it through? Do you need to make some significant change with the eight of pentacles? 
Do you need to put your time, energy, effort into something or someone else? The Seven of Pentacles is asking you to evaluate. Take a passive approach to this. Meaning, I'm not giving any more time, energy, love, dedication, devotion to this until I see a return. If no return, that's fine. I can easily bow out because I have decided to be inactive in this connection anyhow. You could also, with the Seven of Pentacles being the advice here, you might just need to go inactive. Stop forcing it, okay? You're forcing something to work and it's not working, which is making you in turn feel powerless because in order to have power, something has to work and it ain't working. Good luck, Taurus. If you need a personal reading, all links are below. You can go over to the website book there. You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link or buy me a glass of wine. I don't know. Whatever y'all want to do, buy me something. Anyhow, Taurus, take care. Many blessings to you. Bye.